At the end of the Civil War, four million newly freed people wanted to put some founding principles into action. All men are created equal. They are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. As some gained freedom, others reacted defensively. In response, the U.S. government created the Bureau of Refugees, Freedmen, and Abandoned Lands, known as the Freedmen's Bureau. The Bureau acted as the conscience and common sense of the country, stepping between the hostile parties and saying to them, with irresistible authority, peace. Some veterans of the U.S. Colored Troops used their honorable military service to secure loans from the Freedmen's Savings and Trust Company. This funding helped them buy land and start businesses. Freedmen's schools taught the essentials, conveying knowledge needed to make decisions. Bureau staff mediated between freed people and employers, negotiating contracts that specified work required, money earned, and protection afforded if employers reneged on the agreement. Small pieces of currency became symbols of independence for newly freed people, paid in cash for the first time. Support for serving freed people declined by 1870, and the U.S. Congress closed the Freedmen's Bureau in 1872. Bureau Director Brigadier General Oliver Otis Howard lamented that the Freedom Project had fallen short. I believe there are many battles yet to be fought in the interest of human rights. There are wrongs that must be righted, noble deeds that must be done. Such work can inspire those committed to opening the American experiment to all. <laughs>